Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a new kind of haul. I discovered a new brand a little bit ago, but I only recently placed an order with them. I'm sure a lot of you are actually already familiar with the brand. They're called Makeup Revolution and they're based in the UK. So I did order this online in Canada. I'm not sure where you could get it. I don't think it's in store. I think it's online only for Canadians. But in the US, you can get it at Ulta. And then I believe in the UK, it's more readily available as that's where it is made. So came in this big bag. So if you haven't heard of Makeup Revolution, they're actually a makeup company that dupes higher end makeup. So they're an affordable brand of makeup, but they dupe higher ends. I tried to get an array of things that I knew they duped that I didn't have in my collection high end wise that I wanted to try out. And I'm so excited for this because I hear the quality is really great and at times it's actually better than the high-end version of it. The first thing I'm going to pull out that you might be familiar with, this is the iHeart Makeup, which I guess is a sister company to Makeup Revolution, but you can buy it on the website as well. And this is the iHeart Chocolate Salted Caramel. So obviously this is supposed to be a dupe for the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palettes. And I'm really excited for this one. This is the salted caramel one, which is supposed to be like the Too Faced one, which I don't have. So this is the regular Too Faced chocolate bar palette. I love it. And this is supposed to be like their salted one, which I don't have, but you can tell it's supposed to be a chocolate bar. And the packaging of this is actually really, really nice. I probably like it more than the Too Faced one, to be honest. And I love that it's dripping in caramel. So it comes with a sheet for the names, which I'm sure I'll probably lose. Every single shade in here is made to be a dupe from the Too Faced one. So I haven't touched it. I don't know the pigmentation of this at all. I want to touch this one though. So that one's really soft, super soft. Touching all the ones that you probably can't see. So they have lots of pigment. I'm really impressed so far. Obviously I'd have to try it on the lid to see how they blend, but so far I'm impressed with this. So excited to use this. I'll probably maybe film a Valentine's Day look using this. If you guys are interested in seeing this in a tutorial, I'll probably do that. I have a lot of stuff here, so I probably won't swatch every single thing, but I also picked up the iconic Smoky palette from Makeup Revolution. And this is supposed to be a dupe for obviously the Urban Decay Naked Smoky palette, which I never picked up. So I wanted to try this one because it's a fraction of the cost. And actually at the time, Makeup Revolution was having 50% off an end of the year kind of sale. And then on their Instagram, they also had a 20% off. So this makeup is already cheap and I got it super cheap. <laughs> So this is the packaging, super nice and sleek. I love the black with the gold. I'm actually really impressed with the packaging. I thought it would kind of go a little bit skimpy on the packaging just because it is so affordable. But those are the shades, the names are up there on the sheet. And this is supposed to be like the Urban Decay Smoky, which I wanted, but I wasn't going to use the Smoky palette that often, so I figured I should go for a more cheap alternative. I heard so much about the Awesome Metals Foil Finish eyeshadows. These are supposed to be dupes for the Stila Magnificent Metals eyeshadows, I believe they're called. But they look like this. They come in like similar packaging. They have, let me show you. This one I really wanted. It's in rose gold. Shanxo always talks about this one, I know. She said she actually likes this one better than the Stila one, so. It comes with a little mixing tray, just like the Stila ones, an activator as well, and then the eyeshadow, but I think I paid, I wanna say $4 for this, or less with the sale. I'm not sure how much it was, but they're really inexpensive is what I'm trying to get across. So open it up, there's what the product looks like, and I'm so excited to swatch this. So it has a very, different texture if you've ever tried the ones from Stila before. So that's that right there. So gorgeous. I'm so impressed. I was really looking forward to these and they definitely meet my expectations so far. So really excited to pick those up. I ended up picking up all four of the shades that they had because they were so inexpensive 
and the shades I have are the rose gold, black diamond, pure platinum, and this one's really pretty, emerald goddess. So, so excited for those. They look amazing and definitely impressed with the rose gold so far. So really excited to pick those up. And they're super inexpensive. So the shipping was really good to Canada. I didn't get any duties or customs fees on my order when it showed up, which is great. And it did take a little bit to get to my house just because it's coming from the UK and it always takes a little bit longer when it does, but no complaints, no duties, no anything like that. So. Then the next thing I got is a Pro Blend sponge. Obviously this is supposed to be kind of like a beauty blender. Really excited to try this because if it's just like the beauty blender, which it looks like, let's feel it. So obviously I'd have to run this under water, but it's promising, very promising. Another palette that I picked up is the Ultra Contour Palette. Always looking for a good affordable contour palette. I like my one from NYX, but I wanted to try out another one. So here are all the shades. It has two highlighters in them. I'm really excited for this banana shade. They're all very, very soft, <laughs> very finely milled. So I'm excited to give this a try. So far, really impressed with this too. So I heard great things. I didn't know what to really expect though. When I was looking at videos, the packaging looked cheap to me, but it doesn't feel cheap now that I have it in my hand. So. Uh, this is really, really exciting. Then they also have dupes for the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powders, which you guys know I love. And they actually have a palette, which would have been better to get, but it was sold out at the time I was making my purchase. So I did get all three of the Radiant Lights, uh, the full sizes. And this one's called Exhale, Breathe, and Glow. So let's open this one. Here's the packaging. And it's supposed to be like the hourglass ones, which it kind of feels like. Definitely could be a dupe for those as well. So obviously you have to play around with these more to see how they perform and kind of compare them next to the products I already have, like the hourglass ambient lighting powders. But it's really cool that they make affordable dupes for all these really expensive stuff like hourglass. Just so cool. So I'm going to just show you the colors. So here are two of the other colors, Breathe and Glow. Glow is a really pretty golden shade. I might see this more as like a highlight. That's really pretty. These are very subtle highlights. But that's what the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powders are. They're very subtle. Sometimes you can use them to set your skin. I remember using it to set my under eye just to give it a little bit of radiance. So you will definitely be seeing these in upcoming tutorials. Uh, so far, impressed with these as well. These are two new products from them. This is the uh, Duo Face Sculpt. And I love the color of both these products. This will make a really good contour and for sculpting and shaping. Super excited for that. This looked a lot smaller. And then I get it in person and it looks really big. So I'm glad. Uh, that it is so big and then they also have the Pro Illuminate which looked really pretty. I saw someone use this and this is just a gorgeous, so soft. Like I am, I don't know what it is. This is crazy. Why didn't I pick them up sooner? That is so pretty. Those two things were on the top of my list. They really piqued my interest. And then I also picked up the Pro Prime. It says it's new as well. This is Aqua Priming Base. So I'm assuming this is supposed to be kind of like the Smashbox Priming Water, which I didn't like at first, but I think I might be starting to like it now because I have been using it. But at first when I got it, I just thought it was water and it was garbage, but uh, I started to like it. So I, I wanted to pick up this one to kind of compare it and see if it's kind of the same thing. So. Excited to try that as well. Then I picked up three lip products. This is the iHeart Makeup, which is their sister company. Uh, their Lip Lava Liquid Lipstick. So these are supposed to be like the Too Faced Melted Lipsticks, I believe. This is what those Lip Lavas look like. And it has that same applicator. Promising. Definitely a color I will get a lot of use out of. It's like a brown nude, really pretty. 
I'm for sure going to be purchasing more stuff from them because I am so blown away right now. Then I also got one of their lip lacquers, Salvation Velvet. I think this is a liquid lipstick. It's called What I Believe, the shade. I wasn't sure what to get. Some of these were sold out, I think, when I was placing my order. So this is what the color looks like. Definitely not what I thought. <laughs> this will be suitable for summer. It's really pretty, but I rarely wear colors like this. But I think it would look actually really pretty. Especially kind of my look right now, I think it would look really good for. And on my lips, in case you guys were wondering, I'm wearing the new lipstick and lip gloss from MAC for their Viva Glam, Ariana Grande. So all proceeds of this go towards the AIDS fund for MAC, in case you were wondering what's on my lips. And then I picked up one lipstick. It's called Dream About Success. Maybe I got another lipstick, actually. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. So this is what the packaging looks like on that. The packaging reminds me of the Gerard Cosmetics gold one, but a different color, just the weight of it and how it feels. This looks like a peachy coral shade. I did swatch this one. It comes off more pink, so it's very deceiving from the color that swatches to the color that's in the tube. I really love the color that it swatches, so that's why I picked it up, and I thought this would be really pretty for the spring-summer love colors like this and this I think was only like a dollar or something crazy like that like so cheap and then I got one of the iconic pro lipsticks I was picking up a lot of the pro product and this is called you are beautiful oh that's nice <laughs> I forgot the names of these things uh, but I think this is supposed to be kind of like MAC lipsticks I think is what I I read that these were dupes for so this is what the packaging looks like, super classy, black and, is this rose gold? Has a little bit of the color at the bottom, love it, so amazing. I want to pick up all these. I should do a lip swatch video of all these. But this is just a nude shade. Kind of reminds me of peach stock a little bit from MAC. I'll see what color this is supposed to be a dupe for, maybe honey love, peach stock. Either way, it's a color that I wear. and. I'm really excited for this. I don't know how many times I have to say that. The last thing I got I was kind of unsure about. These are supposed to be like those box blushes, uh, the heart shaped blushes from Too Faced that they initially, that they came out with. The shade I really wanted that I saw swatches of and I really, really want uh, was sold out. But this one's called Birth Bursting with Love, if I can get it open, from the I Heart Makeup sister company so I typically don't go for products like this just because the packaging is super bulky but if the product is good then I won't mind a really glowy super pigmented blush I love glowy blushes. I am so excited. So hopefully this doesn't break me out. Sometimes I have issues like for more affordable brands like e.l.f. I do find their powder products do uh, irritate my skin. So I haven't tried it on my skin yet. But maybe I'll do a whole first impression video on this. Just a whole makeup revolution look if you guys would want to see that in action. But yeah, that is everything I picked up. I'm really, really impressed by my first impressions of all the products. I'm excited for what I did pick up, and I'm really happy that I snagged that sale because it's already affordable, but I managed to get it really, really cheap. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this haul, maybe found something new from a new brand that you never heard about. If you're from the UK, you're probably like, we've been there for how long? We've been there for years, we know about it, but it's new to me, and it might be new to some of you as well. So let me know what some of your favorite Makeup Revolution products are in the comments section below so that we can all check them out. I'm really impressed with what I ordered, so I think I did a good job there. And I hope you guys enjoyed this haul, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!